we've been working on something we think is pretty special, and we're just eager to share it with you. In my time at the company, I've been lucky to witness a few important moments, and I think this might be another one of those. We believe, as Satya said, that we can improve the way billions of people can benefit from the internet. Created by really an amazing team across Microsoft, from the core web engineering folks in Mikhail's group, to the brilliant folks in Microsoft Research, to the tireless people that work on the Azure AI supercomputer. We think of it humbly as the next generation of search and browsing. Infused with AI and assembled as an integrated experience, we are gonna reimagine the search engine, the web browser, and new chat experiences into something we think of as your co-pilot for the web. Now, co-pilot is a critical word because we believe in the empowering nature of AI in which you, the individual, are in charge. Now, what it is is not even as important as what it represents. And that is, for us, an aspiration to unlock the joy of discovery, the wonder of creation, and that feeling of empowerment from being able to harness the world's knowledge. At the center of this new Copilot experience is an all-new Bing search engine and Edge web browser. And it's going to do four things for you. First, it's a better search. It's the search you know and love, but it's better because it's AI powered. Second, not only does it give you the search results, but it will actually answer your questions. Third, we're going to make it incredibly easy to use. We're going to let you chat. We're going to let you just talk to it naturally. And last, when you need that spark of creativity, Bing can generate content for you automatically to help you get started. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the opportunity in search and why we believe we're at the start of the next generation. Oh, no, no, sorry about that. We're on to the next generation. <laughs> in all seriousness, with over 10 billion queries a day, we all know the search engine's an incredible tool. We do. And yet, as the web has grown, we've run into challenges. People are overwhelmed increasingly with too many links when they're trying to find simple answers. In fact, 40% of the time, people click on search links, they click back immediately. That's a sign they're not finding what they want. And most notably, we have to adapt to search versus the other way around. Turns out search looks better if you give it fewer keywords. You might be surprised to know that 75% of all searches are three keywords or less. But come on, we shouldn't be surprised. Search has remained fundamentally the same since the last major inflection when we move from a directory approach to search to an algorithmic approach to search. The user experience and the underlying approach are essentially the same as 20 years ago. Few keywords, and you get millions of links. But as the world around us has changed, the way people use search has changed. We all know this. People are trying to use search to do more than it was designed to do. To illustrate that, let's just look at a breakdown of search queries by type to understand this point. Search queries today, you can bucket them into sort of three types of categories. The first are what we call navigational. This is people searching for a website. So when you need to renew your driver's license, you need to go to the DMV. When you want to tell your friend about that great pizza place, you send them the web link. That's what search was designed to do, and it does it super well. The second third of categories are what we call informational. These are things like, what's the weather forecast? What was last night's sports scores? What's today's stock price? Search works great for that. But for anything more complex, like, hey, I've got to pick up this love seat at the store. Is it going to fit in the back of my car? Search is going to fall short on that. And then the final third, we bucket into what we call everything else. And these are typically more deep research in nature. This is things like trip planning or shopping, complex shopping. An example query here that people are putting in is, hey, can you recommend a five-day itinerary uh, to Mexico City? And for these, search falls far short of the desired goal. What this means, if you just kind of do the simple math, it means that roughly half of all searches aren't delivering the job that people want. If you, if you go on the 10 million queries, it means that every second, 50,000 people's searches potentially go unanswered. This is, why we re, this is why we believe it's time for a new approach in search. And for the billions of queries that are going unanswered, we've seen uh, new attempts to try and address the problem. Uh, as you all know, there are vertical search attempts. Um, Amazon has done a better job for shopping. YouTube's great for video. Reddit is a great place to come get advice. And the benefits of search are well known. 
It's fast, it's timely, and there's a great business model. And then, more recently, there have been another vector, more disruptive ideas, like leveraging AI to answer questions directly and to generate content. These are amazing as well. They show what's possible. But what if you could get the two to come together? Not only would you get two things in one, but we think you could actually solve problems in each, and we think you could get to something that is really one plus one equals three. And we have done that with the new Bing. I want to share with you four technical breakthroughs the team has achieved to make this come to life. First, through our fantastic partnership with Sam and the brilliant team at OpenAI, I'm excited to announce that Bing is running on a new, next generation, large language model. One that is much more powerful than ChatGPT and one that is customized specifically for search. It's unlike anything you've had a chance to play with and we can't wait for you to try it. Second, we've developed a proprietary way of working with OpenAI that allows us to best leverage the power. We call this collection of capabilities and techniques the Prometheus model. The core idea here is that both at training and at runtime, we engage with the OpenAI model more intelligently through our knowledge of the web via the Bing index and some special query techniques. We're gonna dig into this a little bit more later, but the benefits are the following. First, we can improve the relevancy of answers by feeding in and better tuning queries, given our understanding of the web search index. Next, we can annotate the answers with specific web links and citations. We can get you more up-to-date information because search crawls the web every day, and we can improve understanding of geolocation. Finally, we can increase the safety of the answers as well by catching queries at initiation and then checking that again at the delivery of an answer. Next, we've been making steady improvements on the Bing algorithms for years, and we test these with independent judges, and, the, and it shows that our search experience is on par or better than any search experience when you take away the brands. But a few weeks ago, something special happened. We applied the AI model to our core search ranking engine, and we saw the largest jump in relevance in two decades. And we believe we can continue to drive breakthroughs as we improve the models. And then finally, we are reimagining how you interact with all of these capabilities across search, browser, and chat by pulling them into a unified experience. I want you to think about search coming together with answers, search coming together with chat, and search coming together with the browser. As we all know, and as the folks at OpenAI taught us, the user experience is as important as the underlying technical platform. All right, enough talk. You guys ready to see it in action? Let's just show you how we're gonna enable the Copilot for the web. Now before I do, I wanna call out two things for clarity. First, because there's so much I'm gonna show you, and so I, you don't have to watch me type every search. I recorded these searches live just yesterday. Second, in case there are skeptics in the room, you're gonna get a chance to play with it directly, put your hands on it, and type the same queries, as well as your own favorites, right after this presentation. All right, you're all familiar with search, so I'm not gonna show you search. I wanna show you what you can't do today with today's search. I'm gonna focus on answers, chat, and the ability to create. But first, let me introduce you to the new Bing homepage. You're gonna notice some subtle but important changes. First, we have an expanded search box capable of accepting up to 1,000 characters because now Bing works with natural language. And you saw a little hint to chat, which I'm gonna get back to in a second. Now I wanna set up the first search scenario. My daughter and I, we both love art. She's studying art at school and I'd like to stay connected with her on our mutual passion. Last semester, she was learning about Mexican painters. I'd like to get a quick summary of the most influential Mexican painters and their works to learn a bit more about the topic. If I type the full query of what I'd like to know in today's search, here's what I'd get. And so I'll just type in, compare the most influential Mexican artists and their top paintings, and you'll get what you expect, right? Some links. It's fine, but we can do better. Let's try this now in the new Bing. What you'll see as we pull up is first you see the web results here on the left, but then on the right you start to see how we start to compile the answer. And what you get here now is we have the ability to highlight these web links. We can annotate the results. And that's because we're able to go in and apply our index onto the answers there. In other words, the answers and the search on one page has saved me a huge amount of time. 
This gives you a little bit of a sense of what you can do. Now you've seen some of this before, you might say, hey, I've seen some of this. Let's show you how we can do some additional things. I'm gonna show you another query. So where we use the timeliness of search. So let's go ahead and ask about events in Scottsdale during the Super Bowl. And what you'll see is we get back an answer here where we have events and we're able to do that because Bing crawls web. Notice how we can find not only that the Super Bowl is played in Glendale on the 12th, but then the events like Cardi B's Super Bowl party that's on the 10th also shows up. So we were able to pull these things together. So you get, start to get a sense of how we can build on what's today with the Bing index. Now I'm gonna show you a few more of these types of answers quickly so you can get a sense of the power and the time savings from Bing. When I'm uh, running an errand, like the example I gave to you earlier, I can ask Bing to determine if that new love seat for my key is gonna fit in the back of my Honda Odyssey. And what you'll see is Bing can actually find the dimensions of the love seat, the interior space of the car, and then make an estimation as to whether it will fit. In this case, I'm choosing an example of where Bing does not know the answer. And we know, uh, and we know that we can't be definitive about it. And the reason I'm doing that is because we know we won't be able to answer every question every time. But Bing can still provide some helpful information, as you can see on this answer. We also know we'll make our share of mistakes, and as we begin to roll this out. So we've added a quick feedback button at the top of every search so that you can give us feedback and we can learn. Another example, when I'm shopping, I can ask Bing to search, find, and compare the top three selling pet vacuums list, listing the pros and cons. And just take a look, look how great this answer is. It has all three of the products I'm looking for, super helpful pros and cons. Stop and think, if you had to compile that, how much time that would take you to do? And as you can see at the top of the page, we still have the advertising in this example because we know when people are shopping, those ads are helpful. And finally on this one, if I'm cooking and I realize I've forgotten a key ingredient, for in this case, for example, eggs for my cake recipe, Bing can not only find the, exact, the egg substitutes, it can get me the exact amount for each ingredient. And, and take a look at this, I love this. You can actually see, for example, if you go with vinegar and baking soda, the cake is lighter and more fluffy. These are just little helpful tips that every day help make your life a little better. These are just some examples. And you can start to get a sense of how, with answers, we go far beyond what you can do with search day. We can actually help you get what you want to get done. Now let me tell you about how Bing goes further to help you with particularly complex questions for which there's not a precise answer. I wanted to introduce to you the new chat experience in Bing. I think of this as search with your own personal helper to help you refine your query until you get exactly what you're looking for. This comes in handy for activities like trip planning and shopping research. Let's start with shopping. So I'm gonna look for a 65 inch TV. Again, you see our ads at the top, the, result, the links on the left, and the answers here on the right. And you can pick whichever you'd like. We give you a good set of answers, but now I wanna refine this query. So I can do that by going to chat. Now I can either swipe up with my fingers or look up here at the top of the screen. We have now a new chat scope. And with that, with one click, you are now into chat. Look how beautiful that is. Search to chat, just so seamless. And now we take away all of the content that was in your place and you focus you on your query. The search box you can't see, now that can take up to 2,000 characters. So you can really, you can just talk to it. You can just ask for it. So in this case, let's say, I'm gonna ask for a gaming optimized TV. All I have to say is, which of these are best for gaming? And we remember all of the context. We know that we're talking about flat screens. We know we're talking about 65 inch TVs. And look how Bing starts to come back. It does all the queries on my behalf and comes back with a great answer. And I just wanna highlight a few things for you. Since we know you're asking about gaming TVs, we pull out, oh, this one has a game optimizer, this has game mode, and so we make that really helpful. I'm on a budget. I'll ask you to adjust it for uh, which one of these is the cheapest. Again, Bing knows the context, and it just goes in and refires the queries. So easy, you just talk to it, and you can refine your shopping experience. And again, we find the prices here. I didn't know you could get a flat screen for under $500, but that's a good deal there on Bing if you're looking for a TV. All right, so we think that's gonna make shopping, and tra shopping easier. Let's talk about travel. And before I jump in, I wanna kinda just remind, have you remind yourself, when you're gonna plan a trip to a foreign country, think about all the things you go through. Travel times, what sites do I wanna see? Uh, regulations to observe, budget. 
Our research shows when on Bing, people spend on average weeks to even months to plan a trip and to use our organizational tools. I'm gonna to show you how we make that so much easier with the new Bing. I'm traveling to Mexico for my cousin's wedding, and with the new Bing, I now don't have to start with something that's dumbed down, like Mexico City travel tips. I can ask for what I want. First, let me just compare that against what you get in today's search engines. So I'll type in this long query of what I really want, and you know, you get what you expect. Links to go try and find, find the answer for yourself, right? But we can do much better. Let's try it in the new Bing. So I'll type the, I put in the long query, which is essentially create an itinerary for a five day trip to Mexico City for me and my family. And just like that, Bing goes to work. And just take a look at how it starts to compile. It starts with day one, and we, we put in there, look, arrive in Mexico City, check into your hotel, go check out maybe the Playa de Artes, you know, have some lunch, then there's day two, and you see, isn't this just so much better as a starting point? And look, if you wanna learn more, if you're like, hey, I don't love these five days, no problem. Down there, we have links where you can go and learn more. And, uh, and we put in some nice touches in there as well. And again, now let's say business travel changes. Oh, I only have a three day. I don't have to go back out there and figure it. I just say, hey, make this a three day trip. And Bing reflows that recommendation into a three day trip. And now let's, now let's just have some fun. Let's say, okay, yeah, I'm still trip planning. Um, we like to shop, where can I shop? And you get some shopping recommendations. Like to go out at night, all right, make the most of the trip. Where's the nightlife? And you get a list of nightlife. You see, this is just so much better than today's shirt. search to start uh, for your travel planning. Let me show you a final example of uh, chat and how I think the new language models are gonna maybe help bring the world a little bit closer together. Understanding different cultures is often done through the arts, like music and literature. And I've been fascinated by Japanese traditions. Uh, Sati shared with me one of his favorite searches from a while back on poetry. So with that, I'm gonna use that as inspiration. So without a clear idea of what I want, necessarily, I'm just gonna type in a simple prompt, top Japanese poets. And Bing starts to respond with a nice list. And you see this, it does a great job of mixing the Japanese language and the English language. And it knows since I'm querying in English to do that. Right away, I learn about this poet, uh, Matsuo Bashu. Turns out he is uh, one of the greatest haiku masters of the world. Uh, I love how it not only lists his name, but we go ahead and we give you one of his famous haikus in Japanese and we auto-translate it in English. Great, and I can say, oh, I'll learn a little bit more about Matsuo. So I can say, tell me a little bit more. We give you another jumping off point, that's great. And then I can say, hey, tell me about another haiku. Now, what I want you to reflect on is, look how easy this is to discover something new. Normally, I might not have done this. I might not have gone to learn about something new in the world through search, because it's just, you know, it's cumbersome to click on links and have to deal with foreign languages. But this is what we mean by unlocking the joy of discovery. All right, finally, when what you are searching for doesn't exist and you need that spark of creativity, Bing can generate the content to help you get started. We just finished planning that trip to Mexico, and now what I would like to do is I'd like to share that information with my family. They're all over the world, but I can simply ask Bing, hey, write an email sharing this itinerary uh, with, that I've researched and, and put it in a thing for me to be able to send to my family. So notice here how the email starts. It's a great email, personalized touches, has the trip hi highlights, it, it'll close here with a nice heartfelt message. It's just a great way, it just saves a bunch of time on your everyday work. Now for my family, uh, English isn't necessarily always the first language, so I can ask Bing to just translate that in Spanish. And with a simple request, just basically say, hey, translate it to Spanish. Bing knows to take that entire email and itinerary and convert that into Spanish. In fact, Bing can translate automatically in over 100 languages. My sister, I'm gonna admit to you, she's a better Spanish writer than I am, but I might just impress her with this one here. And even if I don't, I, at least I save myself a lot of time from having to type the mail. Our focus with Bing is to help generate content and inspiration that helps you within your daily life. And I'm gonna give you a couple more examples. Uh, so let, let me show you one here. <clears throat> I wanna create a weekly meal plan for my family of four that has vegetarian options and caters to those that don't like nuts. Since I'm not the healthiest of eater, I'm gonna to admit to you here on occasion, 
This is giving me a great uh, list day by day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, with all of the ingredients. So much easier to help you start, like to create a meal plan that says, hey, let me get you a healthier meal plan. Uh, now, this, there's some things in there I learned when I did this query, which is chia seeds, which I don't normally eat. And that sparked another idea to show you. Let's say I want to get this grocery list by grocery section. So all I can do is say, give me that, grocery list by grocery section. And Bing now takes that exact menu for the week and puts all of the ingredients I need by section, by grocery section. So when I go shopping, now it can be super efficient, right? So you see all of the ingredients there. It's a great, it's a great help. And then finally, if you're looking for family activities and you're struggling for ideas, Bing can help you with fun things like spontaneous trivia games. My family and I were into music, so I asked Bing to create a 90s music trivia game. And uh, just look how great some of these questions are and the answer. So it just creates that game for you. And uh, um, we were having a little debate backstage about one of the questions that comes up here, which is, uh, who wrote the hip song uh, Jump Around? Is it Criss Cross or House of Pain? And I call it out because it shows you how clever it is. Because for those of you who know your 90s hip hop, Criss Cross wrote a song called Jump. But House of Pain was the one that wrote Jump Around. That's how clever Bing is. So Bing is going to help you make great with your, look great with your family and have a bunch of fun. So let's summarize where we are so far. You've seen better search. You've seen complete answers. You've seen an incredible new chat experience and the ability to spark your creativity, all with Bing your AI-powered copilot for the web. But, 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 thank you, but, what if that's still too much work? What if you could have that copilot right alongside you so is there at the ready at any time you want it, aware of the context in which you're in? And what if you could get that copilot on the 1.4 billion Windows PCs, on the most used application on the PC, the browser? Well, you don't have to wonder. Team has created it. I want to introduce you to your AI-powered co-pilot in Edge. We've just updated Edge with a new uh, look and feel and new AI capabilities. As you can see here, it's sleeker. It's lighter. And you're going to notice now that we've integrated Bing in a really cool new way. Let me show you. Here I am on the Gap website. I'm browsing around in my new Edge browser. And I want to read uh, Gap's quarterly report. So I can navigate down to their earnings, click on Q3, and up comes the 15-page uh, Gap PDF. It's pretty long. I won't have time to read all that. What I'd love is a, a summary of the key points. I want to show you how now, with the power of Bing's AI capabilities within Edge, we can help. With one click, I can open up the sidebar. And now, as you can see at the top of the window, we have two features. We have chat and compose. Let me show you how chat works. I can use chat in Edge to simply ask it to give me the key takeaways of the page I'm on. So I'll just say key takeaways from the page. And Bing and AI can now read that PDF. And look how great. It comes up with the summary of the key points here. Their earnings, the fact that it's going to reaffirm full year guidance. Very, very cool. A massive time savings. But now I want to compare this with, say, Lululemon who also has their third quarter earnings. Bing can now call out to the web, pull information from outside of this page, bring it into Edge, compare it with the information that's on this page, all within Edge. And I asked it to do it in a table. And look how amazing this is. Just like that in one table, I can get an answer to this question. Think about how much time that would have taken otherwise. Let me show you how we can take it one step further. A top use case we've learned from our friends at OpenAI is that developers are really being more productive with ChatGPT. So here, we're on a Stack Overflow website discussion board to learn a little bit about programming. And in this case, I'm researching tips on how to parse a JSON file. As we read through, we find this great little code snippet. Uh, and I'm like, oh, it's fantastic, except it's in Python and we need it in Rust. All we need to do is highlight that text, have it automatically co you know, copied over into the Edge sidebar, and now uh, Bing inside of Edge says, what do you want to do? And we'll say, hey, rewrite this code in Rust. And with that simple command, Bing can go and take that code and rewrite that automatically in the new programming language. This is amazing. GitHub Copilot has been a huge boost in developer productivity. Imagine what the Copilot can do for people everywhere on any page. 
One final thing to show you. Not only can you better consume information, but you can better create. After our big announcement, I'm going to want to write a LinkedIn post, let's say. So I'll just click Create on the post, and up comes the creation dialog in LinkedIn. But now I can open up the Bing sidebar, and you can see here, I now will go to Compose, and I'll just give it a prompt. I'll say, hey, introducing the new AI-powered Bing and Edge. Let's make that enthusiastic and generate a draft. And just like, I need help with enthusiasm. And just like that, you get a little draft, and I can edit it. And then with one click, it copies right over into my post dialog. I can add some hashtags to get it some, some juice. And just like that, I've created a post. So all of these amazing new capabilities and what we think is a revolutionary new experience. World-class search, the ability to actually get answers to your questions, made easy with integrated chat, and the ability to generate content when you need it to spark your imagination. Brought to you not only when you're searching, but everywhere on the web, courtesy of the new Edge browser. With your co-pilot for the web, we aspire to unlock that joy of discovery, that wonder of creation, and that feeling of empowerment of being able to harness the world's knowledge.